Hello and welcome back to this tutorial. Um, in this tutorial uh, I'll show you how to use a skin modifier uh, as best as I can, but I'm not very good at skin modifiers. But um, but uh, it's similar to the physique modifier, so if physique modifier doesn't work, skin modifier is there. Many people would recommend using skin modifier more than physique. So um, going to want to do is uh this is a different ring it's my when I it's a bit more simplified for the uh, for the skeleton on it so I didn't need spine for mine at the moment. But anyway so what you're gonna want to do is uh best thing to do is to uh first select one of your arms select every bit of the arm right just the arm and what we're gonna want to do I'm in 2013 so there's already there's a button down here Isolate, isolate selection toggle. But uh, for any other version, this should be uh, it's just you know right click and you should have isolate selection. Now do that, and which you should get used to. Uh, it will isolate this and center it. Well, not center it, but you know, center your view on it, which will get rid of everything else. But they're only hidden. You can get them back easily. Just uh, unisolate it. Uh, you know, it should have a little box. Just make sure you do not save it while it's isolated, because if you do, it you won't, you'll have to unhide everything to get everything back. If you save it while it's in isolated mode, if you unisolate it and then save it, it'll work. So after you've done that, what you're going to want to do is select the second part of the arm and go to the very end frame. The auto key on. Make sure you're on rotation and in local, not view. Uh, it might turn out weird if if you're in view instead of local. And with angle snap toggle on, we're going to we're, make sure auto keys on. And uh, we're going to rotate this 90 degrees upwards. You're very unlikely to need to go any more than 90 degrees with the arm, as it it would look weird anyway because the arm is so small. So um. After you've done that, turn off auto key, and now it should just easily rotate over that 100 frames. It's good. Now, what you should also do is, if you haven't already, is just select all three of these bits of bones in the arm and go to go to tools. Rename object and uh, name them something. Um, left arm, and I'm going to number it. Let's rename it so that you know the you know these ones are the left arms when we go into skin modifier. So uh, with that with that bit done, we're going to want to um, select the arm object, the geometry object, um, and we're going to want to go to um, skin modifier, which should be on base. Skin. And when you've added that, you're going to want to go to, uh, under the bones bit, add. And this is where it can get a bit confusing if you haven't named them. Um, find the uh, the three bits of arms that are knit, connect knit, and uh, select those. And now, if we go for it, you should already see it starts to bend. But as you can see, it's a bit weird. The geometry overlaps and all that, which we do not want. So we're going to fix that. Now, you may, if you want, to add extra lines. I think I've, I think I added extra lines to uh, one extra line at the top and one extra line at the bottom, uh, just to. Uh, it get a bit easier for it to bend, a tiny bit better. Um, uh, make sure that if if you still have the unwrapped UVW still um, on it, make sure to convert it to poly before you add the skin modifier, um, or change or add any more lines in that because that will uh, screw it up, and then add the skin modifier. So after that. As you can see, so uh, with the uh, in skin modifier, go to edit envelopes, and you get this. 
So what you, you know, just edit around the uh, the out the uh, the dark red one is for the fall off. So yeah, um, and the uh, the light red one is what is completely connected to that bone, and um, let's just tweak about that and see if you can get better. Also, you get this gradient, which is helpful. Um, red means that that bone completely controls it. Um, blue means it doesn't control anything, and I have no clue what gray is, but I presume it's the same as blue. Um, orange means that there are two bones conflicting over the same bit, so they won't bend without the other one being thought of as well, so just tweak those to the best of your ability. See orange. Now let's see what it, how it looks. It's bending a bit better, but as you can see, it's a bit screwy. So you can either keep tweaking it, to try and get it better, if you can. Um, but uh, if you can't. Um, Also, if if it ends up being near impossible to get it right, you can always uh, add more lines if you have to. It's, you got, it's all about tweaking it and getting it just right. Of course, sometimes it's probably near impossible to get it right. So there's another tool. Oops. That we can use. Um, which I'll use right now is um, under edit envelopes, which we are select vertices bit. Do that. And then with all the vertices in the middle, in that bending area that we're having issues with, select those and undo gizmos, which you probably um, can't see. Um, it's Minimize probably. Um, make sure you select the second arm bit, the one that's going to be moving, and uh, then add a joint angle deformer by going add gizmo. And then you get this kind of thing that bends with it. Now what this does will allow you to technically keyframe what when it's at a certain angle what it should look like. So we could go to the very last one and uh go to edit lattice. Um uh, gonna go in the left view. Could move a few of these up. Some of these lines or vertices up. So it's just a lot of tweaking. A lot of tweaking in all. Try it again. Of course, we we're, we're using quite a lot of uh, not much, many lines, so you can always add more to make it more smoother. And hopefully, it'll look a bit better. It does a bit. 
So it's more about tweaking at certain angles what it is like. So you know you got 50 frame, which is 134.60 angle. You could tweak that a bit. Looks a bit more normal. Then you gotta put it bending normally. Now the good thing is, as it's not keyframed to the keyframes, it's to depend on the angle. You can change the when it how. Anytime it turns, and when it turns, I mean, when you give it. Uh, first, there's one other issue we're gonna, that will probably happen, which, let's see, show, uh, and that could be th that the uh, the texture looks a bit weird. And it's not really, to my knowledge, a very easy way to fix this, but um. You can always tweak the uh, vertices so that they're a bit more in line. If you're able to. Should look a bit better. Of course, you know, if you add more lines it might make it easier. And, you know, and I, I'm not very good at using skin modifier. I always use physique, even though physique is not what you should be using. You should always use skin modifier these days. So there's probably I if I find any better tutorials online, I I will leave them a link in there because to be honest, I'm not the best at telling how to do skin modifier. So, uh, yeah. so that that looks reasonably well. Now, if we were to change this, look this to say thirty, hopefully it it bends reasonably well. It doesn't matter when the keyframes are, so you can get rid of those keyframes and. You know, so that's pretty much it. Skin modifiers. You know, if you want to make it more smoother and all that, you know, add more lines, you know, and tweak that if you want to. Um, if I can figure out a way of fixing the texture thing, I'll, I'll, I'll might make a video or might link to a to a tutorial or something. On how to fix that. So, um, so yeah, and it's same. Do the same thing with the other arms if you want, um, and the legs and that. Um, I guess the reason people like skin mo skin modifier better is it's much easier to uh, tweak to get exactly what you want of a physique. So, yeah, I think that's it. So. Uh, Got any questions? Leave them below, and I'll try and answer them. My best knowledge. Um, so please subscribe, like it if you liked it, dislike it if you didn't like it. Um, um, also, I've got a few Minecraft animations, very short ones, on a on a different channel called Overcharge Studios new channel um only two animations on there so at the, at the moment but uh planning on a few others um uh, you know if you got time go watch them please uh and thank you for watching and goodbye